Um, uh, Doug Sondheim, just so everybody knows, he was out of town this whole week, so unfortunately he would have loved to have been here, but isn't able to be here. But um, that being the case, uh, we have one order of business this evening, um, and that is to appoint our new superintendent, Mr. Tony Sinanis. Dr. Tony Sinanis, yeah, excuse me. Oh, okay, I'll get there, guys. Okay, let's give me a chance. Um, okay, so he's just so informal usually, I'm like, it's Tony. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess, I'll, I mean, I may just start um, with something informal before we go to this very formal whereas, therefore kind of uh, literature here. Um, you know, we started this off um, sort of deep in the winter, and one of the first steps was to go to the community and ask the community and survey and find out what people were looking for in a new superintendent. Um, you know, we had over 500 respondents, which was absolutely huge, and thank everybody in the district and outside the district um, that shared their thoughts um, and uh, their, their wishes for the district. Um, and I think that um, we've been very lucky. We had a terrific search firm. Um, they really uh, rounded up some wonderful people. Uh, Tony obviously was the most wonderful. So, uh, <laughs> and, um, but I think, uh, and he'll speak a little bit, I think if you've seen, you know, the announcement that went out, um, his background is in elementary as a teacher and a principal. Um, he's now at the central administration level working on curriculum. And so, you know, he brings a lot of things I think that are important to the district to us. Um, the thing that you won't see in that document is that I've never seen uh, a community interview with such a strong positive response. Um, I think George Giannani, who's one of our senior custodians, said, uh, he summed it up in a word, wow. <laughs> so it was, and everybody was like, yeah, right, that's exactly it. So it was really, uh, I mean, it was a really, um, uh, it was an hour, hour and a half filled with some very thoughtful answers. You know, Gail thought, he must have seen the question list. <laughs> because he seemed to really nail. <laughs> But I think that really speaks to how much uh, we felt that he would fit very well with Hastings and, um, and that for us this is a very exciting moment. I think we have the possibility to build something really terrific here in the district and we look forward to working with Tony and um, you know, sort of moving on a lot of different fronts but I think in a lot of the fronts that people are very uh, concerned and or excited about. So. Um, with that said, I will read the resolution, so this will actually be official when we can start doing this. Um, so, recommended, resolved, um, I don't know, whereas the Board of Education of the Hastings-on Hudson Union Free School District seeks to appoint Dr. Anthony Sinanis as Superintendent of Schools for the district and to approve an employment agreement setting forth the terms and conditions under which Dr. Sinanis will be employed. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education of the Hastings on Hudson Union Free School District hereby conditionally appoints Dr. Anthony Sinanis to the position of Superintendent of Schools for a three-year term to commence July 1, 2017, ending June 30th, 2020. Uh, it sounds very far in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Subject to and contingent upon the satisfactory completion of the fingerprinting process, yada yada. Um, that was not part of the official document. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, Good Lord. Uh, be it further resolved um, that we've uh, approved an employment agreement with Dr. Sinanis, setting forth the terms and conditions uh, that under which he will serve as superintendent, and we hereby authorize the president of the board to execute the same subject to conditions set forth therein. So, that being said, can I have a motion to approve? So moved. And a second? Second. All those in favor? All right. <laughs> Hi everyone. Oh wow, that's loud. Okay. <laughs> so I won't put it that close. My name is Tony and I am incredibly honored to be uh, appointed your superintendent tonight. So thank you so much and thank you to all of you. And I know even though Doug is not here, the seven of you throughout this process have made it something that was exciting and something that I look forward to every time we were able to get together. When I got to the committee interview, I'm going to tell you that I never had a worse um, sort of encounter of like cotton mouth and I could not even breathe or swallow for the first like 15 minutes. So I was pretty sure I was going to actually pass out. <laughs> so um, 
then someone reminded me that the water was in front of me, so that was awesome. Um, but the moment for me where it clicked was when I actually got to speak with the custodian and he asked his question. And there was this exchange that just kind of reminded me of my dad. No, he's not old enough to be my dad, but at, my dad immigrated here from, from Greece and he left his country at 17 with nothing um, to come to a place to give his children right, an opportunity that he did not have. Um, and there was something about speaking to him that just reminded me of that. And so my parents cannot be here tonight. Um, but just know that this is a culmination of like a family thing, right? Not just me in, in, in singularity and I'm a result of a family that is incredibly supportive. I do have two people here who like are my, my guiding light every single day is my son Paul, who is right there. Say hi, Paul. And, and my partner, Felix, um, who's here as well. And so truth be told, I wasn't sure that I wanted to apply for the job, but Felix told me I better apply for the job because he heard such amazing things about Hastings and the community. And so it's been an amazing experience. I feel so connected to all of <laughs> Thank you. You might not be saying thank you in a few weeks now. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's been an amazing experience. And I, I've been blessed to have some incredible opportunities as an educator, not as a person. And probably the, the person who has mentored me the most as an educator is here. And, his name is Hank Grishwin. He is the superintendent of Jericho Schools on Long Island. Thank and um, Hank is like... <laughs> I have no words to describe um, the impact he's had on me and um, the opportunity he gave me like nine years ago. Um, and hired me under the pretense of, listen, the job may only last like two years because we're probably going to close the school because enrollment is declining. <laughs> so what do you think? And I was like... <laughs> Like, sure, okay. <laughs> um, but I said sure because of the connection I felt. And so what I've learned in my time as a leader is that leadership is about connections, is about relationships, is about people. It's not about test scores. It's not about um, evaluations. Um, so, I mean, test scores matter, right? Whatever, I know. But um, <laughs> I know that even test scores are influenced by relationships and people. And so I can tell you that I have immediately felt a connection to to this community and I'm incredibly honored to be here and I can assure you that everything I do I would do for my own son and those are the decisions that I make and that's the lens that I always look through. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Okay, so unless somebody has something to say, I'm gonna give you all an opportunity to say things but off mic. That's the end of our official portion of the meeting, and please meet and greet and enjoy the delicious um, refreshments that the PTSA has provided for the evening. So thank you all for coming. <laughs>